Yo, what is going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over the top 5 best clothing glitches in GTA 5 Online after the patch of 1.67. I will show you a variety of clothing glitches that are insane and working on all consoles. But quickly, before getting to that, if you do want to enter our 24,000 subscriber shark card giveaway, then all you gotta do is drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and then comment the word giveaway, and you'll be entered into that. But yeah, anyway, let's just get straight into the video. Alright, so for the first clone glitch of today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get a permanent invisible torso. Alright, so to go ahead and get started with this method, you're going to want to come over to any clothing store. Now, just come up to the front desk, and then you want to go to your outfits, and you're going to want to equip the outfit that you want the invisible body on. So keep an eye on the shoes and also the gloves, this is what we're going to be seeing with it. So for me, I'm just going to be using this outfit right here. Once you have equipped the outfit that you want it with, now just come over to the top section. Go down to the utility vest and you're going to equip the peach plate carrier number 43. So yeah, equip this one right here. Now come back over to the front desk and you're going to want to go ahead and save this as an outfit into any slot. I just save it into slot number 1 but you can save it in any slot you want. Now just back out once, come down to the heist coveralls and you're going to equip any of the last 4. So any of these 4 heist coveralls with the gas mask, you're going to equip any of them. I'm going to equip the white one and now you're going to head over to any telescopes that we could do the telescope glitch. So for me, I'm just going to head over to the pier. If you guys don't want to have to spend hours grinding out these glitches, be sure to check out the instant delivery modded accounts from MitchCactus.com which is available for Xbox, PlayStation and PC that comes with between 50 million to 1 billion dollars as well as RP level 100 and more. They also offer account boost meaning that an existing account of yours can have money or RP added to it. These guys have over 4500 reviews on their official Trustpilot page and are by far the most highly reputable models. There will be a link in the pinned comment and description and be sure to use code AVADE for 5% off. So yeah, now you just want to run past the telescope while spamming right on the d-pad and you're going to see your character just stop like this. Now just open up the interaction menu, go to style and equip the outfit that we just saved. Then walk away and you should actually see the gas mask be merged onto this outfit. So now just head over to the mask store. Once you arrive, just come over to the top section and you want to go ahead and save this as an outfit back into slot number 1 or whichever slot it was in last time. Once you have saved it, now just open up your pause menu, go to online, jobs, play job, go to rockstar grade, then come down to missions and you can want to start a titan of a job, the first one. Now simply just confirm the settings and start up the job on your own. Once you spawn in, you should actually see we don't have the peach plate carry on our outfit anymore. So now you try to head over to the shooting range which is located right here. Once you have to get started, come over to the gear section in the middle, then equip the first eight piece and then the second and you should actually see this white hood appear on your outfit. So now just go ahead and buy a soda from the vending machine. And in doing so, you should actually see the hood go down on our outfit. So then as soon as you can, you're going to want to run over to the outfit section and then you're going to want to hit right on the d-pad. And now if done quickly, you can now just go ahead and save this as an outfit with the hood down. So next, come over to the shoe section and then equip any pair of shoes and you're actually going to see the invisible torso appear. However, there is a bit of the shirt still here. So to fix this, just come back over to the top section. Go into the utility vest, equip the second one and then equip none. And actually, you're going to see the invisible torso now appear. So now you can just go ahead, go back over to the outfit section and save this as an outfit. And as you can see, our, our invisible body is actually here. So now you can simply just leave the job through your phone. Once back in online, now you can go ahead and equip this outfit. And as you can see, it is actually going to disappear. So 
So now I'm going to show you how you can actually make this fully permanent. So for this, you are going to need a Kosatka, which you can buy from the Warstock website. So if you don't actually already own one, go ahead and buy one. But once you do own it, now just open it in the interaction menu, go to services, and you're going to want to request it. Now I requested mine, however, it did glitch out on the map. So I had to just wait another minute so I can recall it. But once it does actually appear on the map, you can just head over to it. Once you arrive, you're just going to want to come inside. And now you're going to head over to the scuba gear icon on the map, which is this little icon right here. Now once you're here, just equip the invisible body outfit. And then as soon as you do, you're going to hit right on the d-pad to equip the scuba outfit. So on the first try, I did actually mess up, so just try again. Then once you've done it, now just go to your CEO. So if you're not actually registered as CEO, go ahead and register. Then go to your management, guru style, equip, just swirl one to the right. And once you've done that, now just hit right on the D-pad to take off the scuba gear. And you're going to see your invisible body outfit reappear. However, now as you can see, it doesn't actually disappear off our outfit. So it is now actually fully permanent. So you can go ahead and wear this the whole session until you log out of GTA. However, if you do go ahead and find a new session or leave the game, it is actually going to disappear. So you're going to have to redo this part once again if you want to keep it fully invisible during the session. But yeah, it's really simple as that. That's how you can get a solo, permanent, fully invisible body in GTA 5 Online. Alright, so for the third colored glitch of today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get the rebreather onto any outfit in GTA 5 Online. So to go ahead and get started with this, you're going to come over to this exact location on the map right here. Now it's open up the interaction menu and you're going to equip the outfit that you want the rebreather on. So for me, I'm going to be using this blue CEO outfit right here. Now it's open up the interaction menu and register as a CEO. Then go to your CEO and you're going to click hire associates and then you want to get one associate in. So this can either be your friend or a random, doesn't matter. Once someone is joined as an associate, now you want to simply just open up the interaction menu, go to uh, VIP challenges and you're going to want to start up this one right here called salvage. So you go ahead start it up. And now you're going to see the mission start and now you're going to go get ahead onto any of these jet skis right here. And then you just want to simply go into the yellow circle on the mini map. And then you're going to see the rebreather actually appear on your outfit. So now just simply turn around, go back to the shore. And now you just want to call in any vehicle so that we can head over to any ammunition store. So for me, I'm just going to call in the CEO buzzard. And yeah, head over to any ammunition store. Once you arrive, just come over to the gear section right here, and then you're going to want to save this as an outfit. And once you have fully saved it, now you can simply just find a new invite only session. And once you spawn back in, now just equip the outfit. And as you can see, you don't actually lose it, as we have fully saved the rebreather onto this outfit. And then you can simply just rinse and repeat if you want the rebreather onto any other outfits. And yeah, it's as simple as that. Alright, so for the next clothing glitch, I'm going to show you how you can get the duffel bag in GTA 5 Online. Alright, so to go ahead and get started with this method, you're going to start any online session. Now, just open up the interaction menu, go to services, then go and request your terabyte. Once it does actually spawn in, you're just going to head over to it. Then just head inside. Now, come over to the computer, then open the interaction menu and register as a CEO. Then you actually want to head onto this computer. Now from here just hit client jobs and you're going to start robbery in progress. So yeah, just go ahead and start it up. Then come back onto the computer and now you're going to scan through all the cameras until we find the right bank that is being robbed. 
So once you've actually find the bank, now just hit A or X to go into the interior. And once you're actually inside of the interior, now you can simply just hit B or circle to back out. And now you're going to head over to the bank that is currently being robbed. So what I recommend you do is you actually have an oppressor mark too, as you are actually going to need a flying vehicle for this. And now yeah, you just want to head over to the bank. Once you arrive, you want to blow up all of the cops that are outside. And then you're going to want to head inside so we can find the person with the duffel bag. I recommend you do have an RPG as there's going to be a juggernaut in there you need to blow up. Well, once you blow him up now, just come inside and kill both of the uh, people that have the duffel bags. And once you actually do kill them, now you can come inside and you can actually go ahead and go and pick up the duffel bag. As you can see, it is going to appear on our outfit. So now just come outside and now you're going to need to lose the cops. So for me, I randomly just lost the cops as I was shooting at them. I don't really know how that happened, but it's whatever. You can actually just call Lester and get the cops off of you if you like. Yeah, once you, the cops are off you now, you're going to want to head over to the yellow mark on your map, which is going to be the drop-off location. So yeah, this is where you are actually going to need a flying vehicle, as we're going to have to jump off of the flying vehicle and land inside of the yellow circle. So right here, I just jump off and then I equip my parachute, and now we're going to land exactly inside of the yellow circle. Yeah, you can hold LB and RB or L1 and R1 at the same time to kind of slow down your parachute like I do. So you want to just land inside of the yellow circle exactly like I do. And then once you've done that, now you should head over to any ammunition store. So it doesn't matter which ammunition store you go over to, just go over to any of them. Once you arrive, come inside, then come up to the counter. And now you're going to head over to the parachutes. Go to the parachute bags. And you're going to equip the Israel shoot bag, which is number 26. So it's going to be this one. Go ahead and purchase it. Now, from here, to open up the interaction menu. Go to style, go to parachute and flick it on. Then make sure it is set to the Israel shoot bag. And then this bag actually should appear on our outfit. So now just hop back onto your flying vehicle and now you're going to head over to the mask store. So now from here, what you're going to do, you're going to jump off of the flying vehicle, equip your parachute. And now we're going to land exactly inside of the mask store and spam right on the d-pad. So as you can see, we land right inside of the mask store and we spam right on the d-pad as our character is standing up. And now, all you want to do, you want to save this as an outfit into any slot. Now, just walk away and equip that outfit through the interaction menu. And as you can see, the black duffel bag is actually going to appear on this outfit. Now, the only issue with this glitch is you can't actually change your outfit while you have the duffel bag on. So, what you need to do is you need to take the easy way out through the interaction menu. And in doing so, the duffel bag is going to disappear, so now you can change your outfit and do whatever you want. And yeah, it's as simple as that. Alright, so for the next clothing glitch, I'm going to show you how you can get the IAA badge onto any saved outfit. So to get started, you want to come over to this exact yellow U right here on the map. Now just come up here, now it's just a bit direction menu and equip the outfit that you want the IAA badge on. So for me, I'm going to be using this blue outfit right here. Now just open up the pause menu, you could do online, playlist, click on create a playlist, then go to stunt race and just add the first stunt race. And I'll just go down and save this as a playlist and call it whatever you want. Once you've done that, now you can just walk inside of the yellow halo until you see this option in the top left. Now just open up your pause menu, go to online, and then go to playlist, go to my playlist, and you're going to start your playlist that you just saved. And now, as soon as you accept this first alert, you're going to want to spam right on the d-pad. So just accept the alert, then spam right on the d-pad. And 
and then you should be loaded into the mission. However, it's going to say ULP intelligence instead of the actual job name. And you should see the little race icon in the uh, picture on the right. Now just go ahead, confirm the settings and start up the job. Now as you can see, I did actually see a car in the background. If you also see a car like I am, you're going to have to quit the job and you're going to have to retry the whole glitch. Which is what I did. But see, on this try, I actually got it. And if you, to know you got it, you're actually going to see this eagle with the globe in the background, as you can see, with the fountain and stuff. So as long as you see this background right here, you can just simply hit ready to play. And obviously, you're going to get this cutscene where you see the IA badge onto your saved outfit. So I'll just wait out the whole cutscene. And once you spawn in, now you're going to head over to your apartment, so we can go ahead and save this as an outfit. So just go down to the wardrobe and go save this as an outfit, and then you can simply just leave the job through your phone. Once you load back in, you can go ahead and equip that outfit and there you go. That's it for this clothing glitch, anyway let's go on to the next one. Alright so for the final clothing glitch of today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get the black or the red joggers onto any male character in GTA 5. So for this method you are going to need an MOC, so once you have this MOC, just head inside, now just head over to the computer. And you're gonna have this mission called Work Dispute Unlocked. So you need to do about like, I think it's like 15 bunker supply missions to unlock this, which is pretty simple. Now, if you want the black joggers, you're gonna have be the one to start this up. However, if you do want the red joggers, then you're gonna have your friend start it up. So yeah, I'm just gonna start it up as I actually want the black joggers. So just start it up. Then just confirm the settings, invite anyone, and start up the job. So now we're going to spawn in this plane and as you can see we actually have the black joggers and our friend has the red joggers. So now from here you just need to fly over to your apartment. So make sure you remember where it is as it's not going to pop up on the map. Yeah once you arrive as you can see we can't actually head inside so what you need to do is just blow yourself up with an RPG and now we'll be able to head inside. Then just come inside and then we can actually save this outfit. And then you can change the shoes and whatever you want with this. And then when you leave the job you'll still have this. So yeah obviously if you were the second person to join you're going to get the red ones instead. But since I started up I got the black joggers. But yeah that is a super simple way on how to get the black or red joggers in GTA. But yeah, that right there, that was the top 5 best clothing glitches in GTA 5 Online after the patch of 1.66, so I hope you guys did enjoy. Do be sure to drop a like and subscribe, but anyway, I will see you in the next one.